February 2008, I came home from work in a midnight shift to find my precious daughter, Laura, very weak and collapsed on the sofa. I rushed her to the emergency room at the Hibbing Hospital. We were scared to death. Her heart was beating 199 beats per minute. After several hours of testing, our daughter was diagnosed with a heart condition which would require surgery to repair. <laughs> As you can imagine, we were devastated and in shock after the news. The problem was that we had no health insurance at the time. Immediately, the support of our wonderful community had begun. Laura received prayer chains from many, and her school's basketball teams were desperately raising funds for weeks to help save for this life-saving surgery. We were supported by so many people from our own community as well as from all throughout the state of Minnesota, many of whom we have never even met. All of the support was truly an amazing blessing. A kind reporter heard of the outpouring of support and decided to publicize the story because it was also genuine and loving. Weeks into our nightmare, my husband received a phone call because of the support that Laura's situation was receiving and how contagious it was, we were asked if we would accept some financial help so that Laura could have the surgery she so badly needed. My husband told me the news and I dropped to the floor crying, thanking God for the miracle we had all prayed for. Laura received her surgery almost eight hours later and it was a complete success. We all cried with joy. The next morning, we were able to meet the kind gentleman who made sure that Laura had the best team of doctors and staff available to her. We had finally met our angel. Laura instantly connected with him in a warm, loving way. It was clear that he cared so much and told me that looking at Laura was all the thanks he needed. It was, it was clear that, it's kind of hard. <laughs> It was clear that he cared so much and told me that looking at Laura was all the thanks he needed. The moment was so moving, and it is hard for me to even explain the miracle I was witnessing. Laura is currently doing well and is in her second year of college. Not only was Laura touched by our angel, but my son, Corporal Travis Griffiths of the United States Marine Corps, has also received compassion and concern from our dear friend. My son has struggled with great pride serving his country. He is currently in college and is struggling to receive the education benefits he had, was promised for putting his life on the line for our country. With prayer, we hope it will all be, be resolved soon. On behalf of my family, my friends, the surrounding community, my coworkers from Hillcrest Memory Care, and our church families, I would like to introduce to you the people of Minnesota, to our friend and guardian angel, please give a warm welcome to your future governor for a better Minnesota, Mr. Mark.